Hello, everyone. This is the NinjaGC joining again for another podcast discussion, this time with a slightly smaller group, but I think this will be a fun time today. Joining me this time is uh, Carlos. Hello there. This is Gunmetal Gator here, just letting you guys know that uh, with enough time and preparation, you too could possibly become an elite player in mobile game action. And then next up, Jim. I may be first. I may be last. I may be running around like a chicken with no head. Only I have a head. What a twist! But I am first and always Jen. Hello, everyone. Uh-uh. All right. And then changing things up, I'm going to, this time we're going to be moving on to news stories first. Um, just because I feel like uh, this is going to be, the topic is going to be sort of a more spoiler discussion chat. So I'm going to move that to the end and I'll, it'll be in the title description what it's about, but it's going to be a surprise. But before then, some of the news stories. First up, the rumored Sony subscription service that was supposed to be uh, happening. Its details have actually been finalized. So yeah, all the rumors we thought about were actually true. There's going to be three levels. The first one is basically what we have now. Second layer is going to add some PS4, like 300, 400 PS4-ish games, PS4, PS5 games. There's a whole bunch of old big game catalog. And then the third one is going to include uh, like even a bigger game catalog, but a lot of retro games too. So we've sort of known about this. We just don't. The biggest thing is like we don't exactly know what the games are. All we know is that yeah, you still have to stream PS3 games because uh, the cell architecture. It was not a good decision in retrospect. Uh, but uh, that's the sort of Sony update in that thing, basically confirming what the law of rumors have already leaked a while ago. We still don't know what games are in the big thing, but eh, we'll find out soonish, I think. All right. And then next up, uh, Carlos, are you available to talk about the other the Naruto story? Yes. All right. All right. Hit us for that. So, so basically, uh, uh, in the whole Sorry. sphere of anime YouTubers Sorry. who talk Sorry. about a lot of reviewers, Sorry. Um, Sorry. there's a lot of stuff uh, going on about like a YouTuber by the name of Oceanics who decided to do a little something interesting to... Uh, entice his girlfriend to watch one of his favorite animes that has proven to be quite difficult for any newcomers to basically watch an anime. That, of course, being one of the original big three, Naruto, due to its uh, deplorable history with filler and uh, how long running it was with a lot of flashbacks. All those flashbacks. So, but then he was like, I'm going to do this Herculean task of editing the entire Naruto and Naruto Shippuden series down to the barest essentials with only a handful of bits of filler that actually enhance the product and gift wrapped it to my to my girlfriend to basically just be like, here, you can now get into Naruto safely and not be turned away because of like its big major problems. That's love, man. Yes, it is. Yeah. And I, I mean, heard it from I heard it from the guy's uh, math himself. He and his girlfriend have been together for four years. Ah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, like, it's not that hard at first, at least for, like, the original Naruto series, because, like, the filler is basically one big chunk at the end, one really, really big chunk. But, yeah, when you get in the ship, it gets, like, it's, like, so interwoven with the story because they're butting heads with, like, they're running up against the manga as it was being written. Oh, and let's not forget about the whole zombie flashback stuff, which that also made it a very bad issue to deal with. All right. Um, let me see. I also had another. Oh, yeah. I meant to ask, does this also include the Naruto movie? The um, Hinata movie? Oh, it actually does. They stand Naruto Hinata so much. They yeah. have it at the end. They have it at the end. Hey, under- right. understandable. Naruto Hinata, I can I can totally get behind. Yeah, because um, yeah, because yeah, I know that's like I know there's a lot of filler and all that. It's actually the and it's even a funny op- open joke. Like they've joked about on the animation thing about them being a fan of Hinata. <laughs> so a lot of the filler had her in it um, more than the actual regular show. Well, the actual manga. Uh, 
But uh, let me see. Do, do, do. There, Carlos. I'm here. I'm here. Sorry. Yeah. I thought you had... just. I'm just like uh, yeah. It's basically like Naruto. Like I'm now trying to rewatch it all the way through, without missing some key parts. Like during my initial Naruto run, I literally dropped it just right before the whole filler issues happened with Naruto. The big, the big 95 episodes of filler at the end of it. I avoided it, and basically yeah. went on to Shippuden. But then I dropped it, and uh, as soon as it turned into the Sukuyomi plan, so yeah. And I only watched like the bits about the final battle, and then that was it. I did not watch the Naruto last movie. I only then watched Boruto all the way up to episode 100, and then that's it. I'm kind of incomplete about like experiencing the entire Naruto product because of how bad the filler was. Uh, so you are aware of this Tsukunumi plan? Uh, yes. Yes. Um, I, I got I got already onto the fourth great ninja war. Don't worry. Um, but let me see what I was going to say. Oh yeah, my for my context for my references, I had to sort of thank the filler because that big chunk of filler is what actually got me reading the manga. Um, so yeah, that's the first manga I started actually reading was Naruto when it when when it hit ship it in. It's like yeah, I'm not gonna watch these filler. Uh, so let me jump to the manga. All oh, many so many decades ago. Oh gosh, I feel old now. Uh, yeah. Eh. I mean, we could we could even say like uh, Naruto really helped you become the YouTuber you are now, right, Gary? Yep. Uh, Quick favorite ninja, go. Hmm. Time's up. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, it's I would have to say probably to... default is probably uh, Naruto, but like I'd probably if I could probably rewatch all series, I'd probably find a fan favorite. I would. Um, yeah. I kind of feel like I want to say Shikamaru. Yeah. Okay, Derek. What did you who'd you say your favorite was? I would say probably Naruto is a safe thing, but oh. like if I rewatch the whole series, like I would probably pick another because there are other fan favorite characters. Okay. Like I love Tenada, but yeah. it's like, like in general, I want to say the Hyuga sort of got so much disrespect. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah. yeah my like, favorite, like, my favorite's a tie. My favorite's a tie between it's a it's a tie between Kakashi and Jiraiya. I mean, it's kind of obvious why you would go with, like, the big father figures for the, for Team 7, you know? Oh, well, it, uh, but the thing is, is that with, Jediya, with Jediya is I'm a sucker for comedy, and Jediya, to me, supplied a lot of the, supplied a lot of it, even though, yes, he's the pervy sage, but, God, I, I, he was hilarious. God, uh, he was so funny. Me about, God, he was so yeah, funny, and I got way too much fun. And I had way too much fun of him get, getting beat up. I didn't get beat up every time he got caught. <laughs> I had way too but, much fun. But then for like Kakashi, the fact that he played a pivotal role in the final in the final arc as well, oh. all because of his connection with his uh, old friend. I'm just like, mm -hmm. my God. I love Kakashi. I love Kakashi because he was like almost like the trickster. He was like the good trickster character, not just you know. Yeah, he was he was the good trickster character. Like you really. You never know. You never knew with him, but you knew he was a good guy under it. Under it. Unlike, unlike a certain, unlike a certain snake. Um, oh, uh, uh, how did you feel about Orochimaru's uh, come up and at the end of the series? I was like, I, I, I couldn't be, I couldn't be happier, but at the same time, I couldn't rejoice and like, you know, I take that back. Yes, I was rejoicing and everything. It, I was rejoicing and everything and, and such, but at the same time, I was like, Ugh. now to watch a bunch of cat videos because of all the nightmares I have to purge from my brain. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? Wait, so you said yes to a question about Orochimaru actually getting, like, consequences for his actions. Correct. He did not exactly get consequences for his actions, like, per yeah. se. Remember? Oh, wait, or I until he's Boruto, he's actually still around with Kabuto and such. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, speaking Those of like, characters that got disrespect. Forget. Those cat videos made me forget, and then you brought it back up. Thanks a lot. Yeah, speaking of characters that got disrespect, Kabuto was 
even have a ninja mongoose anywhere. So finally, or Orochimaru can get some comeuppance. Can anyone have? Is there a ninja mongoose anywhere? I mean, right now, technically in Boruto, he's literally like the fodder to like one of the new Team Seven now. I don't care. Just, just <laughs> mongoose him, please. I'll uh, orphan yeah. somebody. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'll orphan somebody. I don't give a crap. There's like, there's like, there's better, there's better than this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, for all the troubles he's done, literally start Sasuke out in his dark path of vengeance. Like, yeah, pretty. Yeah, like something, that. some. Well, I know something had to set to Sasuke out, out on his dark path of vengeance, and well, something has to give us all nightmares. <laughs> Oh wait a minute! I forgot. Mm. Oh wait, I forgot. I, I can account. I can let Attack on Titan do that. Oh uh, yeah. Oh oh oh! Attack on Titan. Oh, the fact that we're getting the final part in a year from now. Yeah, I also learned something a little bit. Oh, a little yeah. bit dis- I also learned something a little dis- disconcerting about the creator too. About the creator right. of Attack on Titan. Apparently. Like what? Apparently, uh, I learned this from my younger sister. Apparently, she's she's done a lot of re- she does a lot of research, and apparently, she's researched on the creator. And she says she's like he's like the equivalent of a nationalist, and Ooh. AOT. And apparently, the Titans, the Titans are kind of like the are kind of like the way of him of him of him confirming like anti anti foreigner status. The Titans are kind of like okay, this is how I see this is how I see Westerners. And I was like, oh my god. And and I was saying to myself, like, congratulations. You've now you've really now soured the whole soured the whole series. But um, I can't vouch for like the national thing because there are a few like Japanese artists now that, that are more I know hardcore and like um oh, yeah, yeah, be specific yeah. like war crime, uh, war crime deniers. Oh yeah. But I can't vouch on that information, but what, from what I understand, the actual Titans were more just inspired by like people being drunk, and that's where the inspiration sort of became. Would, okay, you know what? I'd re- I'd rather go. I wish I could just go on that kind of inspiration because now now I've got now I've got the remem- remembering. Uh, I think it was the Battle of Trost, in which you had that one scene where you had that where you had that one <laughs> that one Titan that's just running down the alley. <laughs> I just—that's <laughs> the one thing. I was like, "Oh my God, these Titans are scary. They give me nightmares." And then I see that Tross scene with that the one Titan that's running around, running down the alley, and I'm like, <laughs> "Nope." And I'm like, "Never mind. I don't have any nightmares anymore." That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, it it just kind of soured it. It kind of soured it a little bit because of like that. Because of like that's what I heard and such. But at the same time, like, well, what can you do? All right, but uh, I guess with that news story of Naruto, Nock, the other news thing to wrap up is uh, really just happened right before this, which was like, oh yeah, Kingdom Hearts Four got announced officially. What? <laughs> oh God! It's, oh my God! Yeah, this literally happened, happened this morning. With, what are they gonna do with Sora? They Sora disappeared at the last one. What are they gonna do with this one? Oh, he's. I mean, if you watch it in credits, he's like just basically in Tokyo like setting, so. Oh God. Uh, oh God! Wait, wait, wait! Are we talking about Tokyo, as in World Ends with You, Tokyo, or are we talking about the video game Tokyo from, from like Kingdom Hearts 3's uh, Yozora? I think more World Ends with You because it's more like at least looked grounded. Oh God! Oh my God! Oh, oh my God! I'm I'm literally watching like a, a, a two Let's Plays of Neo: The World Ends with You right now, and my goodness. That game series needs a third game. Like, oh. legitimately. If, like, they brought back all the original VAs for the old characters from to, all the way back in 2008. They're still just as great. Like, this cast of characters makes a modern JRPG works in a modern setting. It doesn't oh. matter if it's not medieval or anything. The fact that it's literally, like, it's basically like the bleach version of JRPGs. That's how I can describe the world ends with you. Oh wow! Yeah, because all the reapers and all the missions and dealing with like monsters in which the reapers uh, could possibly transform them, sort of like a Rancar and such. You get the whole biz. Like like mm. Aaron cars from the Aaron car from the Bleach. Yeah, you know. The oh, ones yeah, that... those, blue, 
Yeah, yeah, those bloody little monsters. Just, just, just don't go away! Oh. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't have much stop. info my. Yeah, I don't have much info myself on because it literally just happened this morning, so I haven't watched a parent, like, nine-minute video of it. From what I'm seeing, it's basically in a new uh, Tokyo-like setting. It, like, you end up fighting a giant uh, blackness monster in the city, and Sora has normal shoes. Um, what? It's a horror. What? It's a horror. Ah, the world is ending! The world is ending! Sora has normal shoes! What is this travesty? How will he run? Next you're going to tell me Sora's going to get a buzz cut. He'll have no spikes. He'll lose all his powers. But uh, let me see. Um, but yeah, that's the developing news, which I'm excited, but also not just because I really was sort of burned with Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, Did you not like the game uh, at all? No, it's, it's probably because of the story. That's the thing about the story of Kingdom oh. Hearts it really burns you out, especially how they did it in three in which they, they really try like, all that stuff at the end. Instead of the, spin -off, it yeah, the kingdom Hearts spinoff stuff is just weird and convoluted. The first game and the second game really, well, the first game doesn't have any of that because it's the first game. The second game, it's not really there. So you can still enjoy it. They really try to wrap it all together in the third game. And it's like, Oh, this stuff is not, this is just too much. Um, like, and also the ending, the ending just basically not being an ending after like two decades of this is like, come the freak on. You could have literally just capped off this thing. It was like, nope, we can't. It's like, uh. yeah, they, 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 the greed. Sounds like greed. It was like, we're not, we're not done getting that fan money yet. Or we're not done telling this story yet. But uh, I guess so we can move on to what we've been up to and then eventually around to the main topic. So uh, okay. who do wants to go first? Can I go first, please? All right. I have, been, I have been battling a head cold because apparently the Mother Nature can't make up her mind whether she wants spring to come by or not. So um, I guess right now... Yeah, I've been, like, allergy-wise, like, I had a bigger fit earlier and then like now just like last week I had just more of an upper respiratory thing mm -hmm. that's so, knock on wood is not really right. here anymore <laughs> but mm -hmm. but yeah it's it's that season where it's not fun yeah uh, also the pear the pear blossoms in pear blossoms are out and therefore every and therefore the, the air stinks around here everyone keeps talking about that Man, so, if only we got man, if only we got cherry blossoms here. Japan's so lucky sometimes. I mean, we have cherry blossom areas we do. in Cincinnati. We do. We we do, but I feel like we need more. Uh, and then also like uh, Washington D.C. You know, there's a few different areas, but yeah. Um, but uh, let me see what I was gonna say. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, allergies bad right now. Uh, Carlos, should we go? Bad. Yeah, um, aside from that, uh, from new anime updates, like, right now, it's just kind of a bit of, um, like, the new episodes for, like, Yukio uh, Go Rush have been out, and, um, it looks honestly a lot of fun. We finally have an alien for a protagonist. Hey! And also, the, the alien is basically, um, the alien's basically like the stoic type, but also very comedically based to make him not boring. I feel like he might be the best stoic character we've had in Yukio in a long time since the Tem. Huh, how about that? Like, I just have good feelings about him. Like, I feel like he's fine. We're finally going to get something that's like, not gonna really take too much of like the serious nature, but still have that serious energy and dealing with like a war and such. Ah. Hopefully, in a better way than Yukio Arc V did with its whole plot. Ah. Still very upset of what greatness Arc V could have been if they just continued on like they did at the first arc. Then to disappoint us with that synchro arc. And they made it even worse by making every single girl protagonist into an actual mum, uh, zombie. 
That was not the goodest choice ever. <laughs> so, if you want to see like a Yukio series in which it actually treats girls right, Yukio Sevens is right there. Every single girl character in it actually respects themselves, and literally, they actually can beat the main character. That's how nice. good they are. Nice. Like, well, not just that, they're also actually interesting. Even though they're not as developed as Akiza from uh, from 5Ds, they're at least a lot more quantifiable. Like, mm -hmm. there's more than one character. Hey, cool. Got a question. Has anyone ever heard of the game Arcane? Uh, the only thing I've heard is, like, the Arcane, like, um... Uh... Uh, what's the one? Uh, League of Legends, like anime. That's the only thing I've heard of Arcane. Okay, I just heard some like really some like glow some like really cool uh character analysis, and I didn't know if anyone had anyone had ever uh, heard heard of it. No, it sounds familiar though. Right. Okay, just asking. All right. Uh, Carlos, anything else? What? Nothing else. All right. All right, now to move on to me, just to go through some, some quicker updates, I've been, uh, binge through most, like, in terms of anime I've been watching, I've sort of binge through a lot of the, uh, um, Ranking of Kings anime, which is sort of very interesting style. It's more cartoonish, like older animes used to be, and... I got through like all but the last three episodes because they're not dubbed yet, and I just sort of wanted to take a break um, and just let it finish well, dubbed. What? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, let me see, Ranking of Kings. Uh, oh yeah, and also I took a break because after it, it finally came out, uh, I'm starting to watch through uh, Tiger and Bunny season two. Nice. <laughs> Which is like, yeah, it's an interesting tone shift so far, and it's the first, but I'm glad that there's actually 13 episodes, I think 13 or 12 episodes off the bat, which is pretty good um, for the first half of the season because of Netflix. Um, but yeah, it's sort of interesting, like, the animation style is, I feel like the 2D animation, like the characters, all that is like more simplified. Um but like the 3D stuff is notably noticeably better than the original one, which is sort of known for having like the very heavy use of C, uh, CGI. Um, it was good use of CGI because basically it's for like armor and like machine stuff, so that's the better use of CGI in anime. But it's still like this is like noticeably better. But yeah, I'm enjoying the stay so far. I think I'm six or seven episodes in, so that's fun and. Um, also, I'm not watching it yet, but still my to-do list is the uh, Spy X Family because I've already started reading the manga because I'm so excited about that. But the anime is finally airing and apparently taking over the world. Uh, uh, and then let me see. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, I guess the final news that sort of what I've been up to is something I, that's sort of the main topic and it's going to be a spoiler discussion is uh, as of last night about two-ish, one or two a.m., I have officially gotten through to the third semester of Persona 5 Royal. Hey! I'm not done with the game yet, but I'm done with all the original content up to the third season, which I walked and, into. And so begins Royal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, I don't know if Carlos is here right now, but, but, but I'm yeah, here, that's right here. Yeah, that's where I was like saying the Naruto reference came in in uh, Tiskimo because, yeah, but then like very quickly, like, oh no, it's the, it's the my Naruto senses are tingling. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, wait, 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 which part of uh, Royal are you talking about? Because I just you... started, like, I just started the third semester. So I'm like, oh no, oh no, he pretty much just started Royal, he pretty much just started Royal. Just, just, just literally, just, just started Royal. Yeah, I mean it's the last like 10, 15 hours of game, so it's really just the last little extra bit. But, uh, but yeah, I would say this is sort of a spoiler discussion of like the non uh, third semester Royal stuff 
That's why I said, uh, there's like, oh, this group, we all knows that. So it'd be a good little spoiler discussion for the today. Uh, we're we're going to be talking about Persona 5. All right. All right. Well, I could do this. I can look Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's why I said, like, yeah, I might, might move this to the main topic. Because I have a feeling if I had this in the beginning before the news, like, this would take up everything. It's like, let me just go with the flow. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, but like a uh, last thing before we go into Persona 5 stuff. Um, Pokemon Journeys decided to give a lot of shippers like the biggest joy that is episode 105 with um, bringing back a fan favorite companion of Ash, yeah. the one that actually showed romantic feelings for him being Serena from Pokemon X and Y. Ah. And it's glorious. Like legitimately. She comes out looking amazing. It's one of those return episodes that feels actually well worth and deserved and also doesn't feel like it's being held back by any bad writing at all. In fact, as if you're a big fan of Pokemon X and Y, watch this episode, 105. It actually fulfills your dreams of like having the two come to see each other again, even if it's only for a little bit. Cool. Uh, especially since Serena is the one that actually stole Ash's first kiss. Huh, how about that? Yeah, Here's not a... even the Misty fans can say anything like that. Wasn't even was didn't even think Misty even had a thing for him. Well, the English dub kind of made it seem like it. Ah. First of all, here's the is the kicker. That does Ash even show any interest? I mean, he's like a he was like frozen, like in shock for like a moment, and then like I just continued off but like uh might be a little something it's not like a strong something but it's a little something sounds like a no something to me <laughs> i mean like some mm. uh, just some just some guys with some certain like interest is everything it's like if he's not showing interest come on but whatever anime <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you if you saw if you saw how this girl was majorly crushing on Ash, you would see why so many people got behind her. Well, but uh, let me see. Thinking about like uh, shipping and all that. Yeah, uh, just going to Persona because that sort of relates. Like, yeah, I'm decided to actually platinum the game because it's like, uh. Um. It's not actually that hard, but, like, all the requirements I have left are basically the complete the game ones mm-hmm. and uh, the basically level up by person, uh, teammates persona all the way, which you can't do that until the third semester. Um, and then the other one is go for the uh, romance, which, like, I chose to go with Kazumi, so I still have to finish that. Kazumi? Kazumi's always cool. Yeah, yeah, Yoshizawa. Yoshizawa. Like, cool. I was playing, like, the most I describe it is, I think Queen is best girl. Um, okay. 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 Uh, okay. I would say she's generally the best girl. My favorite girl is probably um, Futaba. Uh, Futaba, Futaba, Futaba. My personal favorite, yeah, that's, she's probably my personal favorite. And then, but I think the best for Joker is Yoshikawa, just because. Going with Royal, it really seems like that's the one they're setting up. Um, sense. I mean, so, it just goes for the whole resay you dynamic. That's basically what they're doing. The whole pretty much, pretty much. Honestly, yeah. any honestly any of the girls like I don't I refuse to get in waifu wars with anybody with Persona girls, especially Persona Five girls, because really the only things the only things like I will agree with you. That Yoshizawa, I think, is probably one of the best for Joker because I'm really thinking any of the girls, with the exception of Futaba and the teachers and the doctor and, and the doctor, are uh are are good for are good for Joker. Honestly, I would also include An in that in that selection because oh, yeah. An and him have no chemistry. I can't see it. I and honestly the, uh, see only, more. It's only only if you play. It's only really if you play on. If you play on playthrough with her, then it could probably start. It could probably, you could probably see it, you know. Eh, I looked I don't at know, the playthrough. Maybe. I looked at the playthrough, and I'm not buying it. I'm seriously not buying it. I honestly feel like 
she might be more of a the lover's lover with her best friend than I would see ah, her with Jennifer. Oh, so you oh so you see you ship her with Shiho, eh? Yes, I do. I'll, I I'll admit, same like with more. me. Same with me. I will. I don't mind a ship with her and Ryuji or her with Shiho. I don't. I I, I legit don't mind it. Yeah, it's going by like the thing, like because I haven't done all. I, I actually like top leveled most of them. I think the only one I haven't really. I'm not near of is Haru, mostly because like I was like, okay, you're the farthest behind. I need to level up everyone else. I'm sorry, but you have to I, be sort of left behind. I really, uh, I like. I really like. I really like Haru, and I feel like Haru got. Haru needs more needs more development and needs more love and needs more love and uh, more development that's more why development. We have scramble. That's why we have scramble. Yes, I can I, I, I can definitely recommend scr- scramble or stri- or strikers or or in the West they call it strikers. So, but yeah. either way, that was gonna be fun. That was yeah because but I brought it up just because like that's where you get the romance options with you basically get them to level nine and then move to ten. But yeah, like most of them, like Anne, like I felt does have more chemistry in terms of like the, at least it develops more in that um because you could sort of get their hands and i i because i had to turn them down because i was saving up for yoshikawa um queen is it feels like it would be like it seems like it would be the most actual like this is what a high school romance would be like where it's more right. about just experimenting and figuring things out than true love sort of thing but yeah right. that's why it didn't feel and then um, Futaba actually, she straight up seems to have a crush on uh, the main Joker, and like I, Futaba and Joker is creepy. I'm sorry, it's it's Futaba's too young. Futaba well, is too young. Like, they live under the same roof. That's basically right. what it is. Right. She's she's more like a little sister, honestly. Futaba's too young, and also I think Futaba's too young. She's and also I don't think mentally, you know, she's you know there. Yeah, and that's uh, one of the things, like, it does felt like she was into it, but, like, after, like, I basically got past that point with her, um, it's, like, all the other the interactions basically, like, yeah, that was probably not the best move because she is younger. You don't really under- kill, get that move. Sochino would probably kill you. Sochino would, coffee daddy would kill you. I no, even, no, even, like, jokes about this, like, oh, it's a good thing you're not, like, romantically involved. It's, like, yeah, in retrospect, it probably was good because, like I said, she is probably my favorite girl of that in terms of her personality right. and all that, but... I, you don't really pick up that she's younger just because, like, she doesn't go to school yet, like, you know, so it's, like, hard to get oh, grades. and doesn't go to high school yet. That's the yeah. thing. It basically yeah, almost exactly. feels like a two-year difference instead of the one year with Yoshizawa. Still, so it's, like, yeah, it's harder to judge. Like, if I'm saying it's harder to judge that just because, like, she's straight up not going to school. Yeah, so it's, I, like, um, yeah. I wish, yeah. I, wish you, I wish she was not a romantic option. Same with Kawakami. Same with Kawakami and Taki- Takimi and Oya, and Oya and Chihaya. I I I, I wish they weren't. What? Well, okay, I can take that back. Um. Yeah, especially with with at least at bare minimum Kawakami and Kawakami and Takimi. I wish they weren't. And Futaba. I wish, really wish with all my heart that they weren't romantic options. All right, which honestly, one are you talking about? Are honestly, you talking about the, uh, and the nurse? You're talking about the, the nurse. The doc, right. the doctor, and the teacher. Yeah, the teacher I know is like the nurse. I at least somewhat understand. I don't like it, but like she still feels in the same age thing. Like if this basically you're still flirting oh. until he gets older, that one I can tolerate. But like the teacher and like there isn't it the reporter also an option? Like that's yeah. where it's like okay, the that's report, just creepy. Yeah, the, reporter, uh, the, the reporter is literally option. just drunk Yukiko. That's literally the right. Plot the reporter, for her. Yeah, the reporter and also now the one passable one I believe is Chihaya. Uh, I just bar just barely, but good luck making making that ship work. You know. Yeah. You see, Chihaya, which one's I that? Uh, the fortune teller. Fortune, the fortune teller. teller. Yeah. All right. And I haven't got the, like. Is the uh, Shoji player also an option or not? I get the yes, feeling she is. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Yeah. She was literally was going to be queen. That was the thing in the in the development thing. Yeah. Oh, so she was like a royal character shogi, that was added. Yeah. The shogi character. Uh, no, 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 she yeah, wasn't added. Honestly, I I don't mind. Now, out of all the characters, Hifumi, I don't mind her. I definitely don't mind her as a ship as a ship with Joker. I I definitely I can get behind I can get behind that one too. I don't mind that either. But if all the girls in in any if there's anything like waifu wars or anything like okay, you know, 
when it comes to best girl, I'll be like, okay, I'm getting out of this argument because, and I'm going to let you guys destroy yourselves on this because I really like all the girls. I like all the girls. There's not any female character in there. Oh, except Makoto's friend that I, Makoto's so-called friend or whatever it is that I, that I really don't like. Yeah, that was, like, of the little, like, mini stories that, like, you go when you're loving up. Yeah, that one was just awkward. <laughs> like, that was, it was stupid. That, that was just stupid. I mean, Koto deserved a better, deserved a better, like, you know, side story than that. It was still good because of her own developments within that. But, like, the characters involved with it are just so, like, oh. Um, like, her friend, who's just basically... I guess you could say the dumb sort of like blonde bimbo ish characters that yeah. personality, which is, it just felt why and then even more like the like evil boyfriend characters is it's like taken to the extremes. Like, Oh, this is just no. Oh, it's, it was in dangerous. It was in dangerous territory, but at the same time, like, this is not how, I don't know. I just felt like it, Makoto kind of got like short, you know, cited and such in this kind of story there's there are better stories regarding makoto and everything like you could have like really brought it first of all you could have brought in say a, a little bit more her older sister say a little bit more mm-hmm. and uh mm-hmm. and and then we could have gotten a little more i feel like we should have gotten a little bit more on her past and her dynamics and then another thing that's driven me crazy is about for some of these characters for, for example haru um haru makoto Haro Makoto. Um, there aren't any mothers mentioned. Why not? There aren't any mothers mentioned. I, I, and that's just driven me crazy. It's like, how come? You talk about their fathers. I'm like, where are the moms? Where to are be the moms? fair, are the we, only, like, we, only get, we only get information about the mother for Haru in Scramble, oh, sorry, in, in Strikers, but that's it. Nothing about Makoto's mom. Yeah, exactly. There's also, to be Nothing. fair, there's not. To be fair, like, we'd have no, like, both. Joker, we have nothing about his father and mother, period. Yeah, and yeah, and I understand why he's the problem with Joker is that he's such a blank slate. And you, but I can understand why he's a blank slate because you're playing him as you want to play. But there is like nothing about his past. We don't know who his parents are. If even, well, apparently he has them. We don't know who they are. And also, why they do what they do. Why do they just ship him, ship him off when they. Why did they ship him up? But also the one thing that's driven me crazy is like, why didn't they freaking defend him? If if he, if he protested his innocence or whatever, how come they didn't defend him? Why did they just ship him off to Sojido? Uh, honestly, yeah. that, to be fair, that, that case would be very easy to explain why they wouldn't be able to defend him. It's Japan's legal system. Oh, yeah, it's to right. and against them. Like 99%, they would immediately lose. But against, but also at the same time, okay, you, you, you defeated Shido, I mean, Shido, right? Have you oh, defeated yeah. him? You've got, yeah, you've got def- okay. I defeated the Holy Grail. I've done everything okay, except so, for. Like, so you've the first already time. done Shido, but at the same time, at the time, Shido had so much influence, had so much influence, so that anyone could go, could go up. If you, if anyone tried to go up against them, you know, they they'd be sorry. So maybe they were intimidated. They were intimidated, but also the distortion that was already happening, the distortion I think that was already happening. Before the Phantom Thieves came around, I think that that had a pl- that had a card to play in it too. Also, I just want to say, just sort of going on to that because I would say I go my yeah I just consider yeah um, Shodru is more of his father now, so let's yeah. just go with that. Coffee dad, um, coffee but daddy. Speaking of coffee, coffee but, uh, <laughs> but uh, speaking of like uh, because it broke him with the romance side, but like in general, like terms of like confidant level, fully maxed out stories. I would say the two, my two favorites so far are probably um, the Doctors and Shoujiro's. Um I mean, a story about a father warming up to his, like, uh, legal protectee. That's like definitely thought, a good one. He thought he was going to, he was getting a delinquent, but that, but that turns out he's not a delinquent at all. But also I'll, just in... The chemistry, like just a family dynamic that develops a Futaba in him. It's like, oh, I love it. And then the doctor, too, is like, she feels like <laughs> she's a very, like, heartwarming story, too, behind her. Um, compared to, like, and like, 
he goes like we brought Moto- uh, Makoto's um like just sort of like friend thing with her story. Um, Futaba is, is good, I would say, but it's like just more like her developing thing. Mm-hmm. So actually, it's considered good, but not one of the words. But like uh, Anne's just felt like there are parts of it, like half of it's good, but like just the model stuff just feels like eh. <laughs> um, uh. It makes it makes sense. Although I like, although I I really like I really like on you know I like all the girl I like uh, all the girls. There's not a girl that I that I really hate and such. Like I said, it, with the exception of Makoto's so-called friend or whatever it is, that's really that's really it. Um, yeah, I, I have to agree with you. Yeah. I, and any any one of the main girls, I still maintain, not Futaba <laughs> would could go great with. With, with Joker, I think. Haru, however, mm, I, I got I got my doubts on that, but I'm sure I'm sure that if some somehow could somebody could convince me on it. Um, but anyway, going to main character, because I was going to say, um, I would say you could say the same for the a lot of the male characters besides uh, what's the art student's name? Yusuke. Um, Yusuke. Yusuke. Yeah, Yusuke is like. Like I don't hate him, but like he's also like just sort of there. Um, I love I love Yusuke. I love Yusuke. I I love Yusuke. I mean, okay, yes, he's weird. Yes, he's weird. But artistic people, artistic people are having. I am liking. I will say, I am liking his story. So uh, his like sub. So I I didn't get it. I'm up to level nine, going to ten because I just the December twenty fourth hit right before I could get to him maxed out. So. Um, that's probably going to happen in, if it can happen in, uh, third semester, but yeah, he's almost there. Um, so I don't hate him, but like, it's like, I can understand like him being more annoying to some people. The one say, the one male character I could say you hate is like, I was going to go around to like the swirl points, but like, let's talk about catchy. <laughs> Um, oh, a catchy! Oh, oh, you mean the guy who literally was like completely hated for like his betrayal in the original game, but then well, here comes Royal to come in and basically made him into the biggest fan favorite of the entire dang series. Yep, yep, yep. Right, yep. Just, to, let's, just to say first, let's talk about this. This oh, be again. I just want to say, this, we're already just a spoiler chat, but like. Oh my goodness! The guy that looks like Light Yagami is actually like Light Yagami. It's pretty. <laughs> it's not just that. It's not just that. It's also the whole idea about like your one kryptonite is pancakes, which then again became a lot more involved because guess which YouTuber was like making memes and references about a certain character from Dang and Rumpa about waffles, nope. and then that sort of memeage became in Persona with a catchy. Which yep. is right. obvious. Just to yeah, just to go up that I say, let's just talk about the spoiler part. Up going up to that, my I like I was like, okay, who's the traitor? I, my main theory, even up because I actually did get a catchy level to eight, whatever max was at the point. Um, just because I read like, okay, you need to get like the best ending, you need to do that. Uh-huh. But uh after his sort of like personality leak, like my my overall thought was like, okay, my main theory going in was like there was no traitor, it was just sort of like that's the twist. Uh, as soon as it became in an interview, that like, okay, no, there is a traitor. Like, okay, it's a catchy. Like, it was, it's obvious. Like, if there is a traitor, it was him. I was just thinking oh, it might not be. It him. was too obvious. It was way too obvious. Yeah. Like, anyone, okay, anyone who's anyone who I talked to is like, oh my god, it was such a trip with a catchy. I'm like, uh, oh come here for me. I mean, oh. excuse me. I'm like, uh, uh, excuse me. One second, come here for a minute. Are you okay? No. I will say it wouldn't be oh, too no. obvious. If you didn't do his, like, side stuff. But if you max out his side stuff, like, there's a point where, like, he goes, yeah, you see, like, the darker side of a catch. And he's like, oh, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, and, like, that's what's like, yeah, there's no, um, you go to see his darker side, which actually makes him sort of, like, yeah, when he goes super crazy in the cruise ship, like, yeah, that's, like, oh, not yeah. like, well, like, I am enjoying the interaction so far in the third uh, se- semester. <laughs> he got on my nerves. Where, yeah, because like he's annoying, but like it's sort of like he's got his like evilness more like in control. So like, no, he's not he, a good character. I don't, think, I don't think he's 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 reached the point where he's like, you know what? He's I always say this about a catchy. He's like he's high on effort on the drug effort all. 
he's high on the drug F at all. But he's like, well, he's like, I'm just, he's so done. He, that's the, the, when they drove me crazy, of, drove me crazy about it. He's like, he's so done with every, he's so done with everything, honestly. And I'm like, I'm just, ugh. And I'm just like, I just get, oh my God. Or yeah. this, I almost wanted to like max up. I was like, okay, I'm going to max up and then I can be done with them. And and it, it, it's, it's, it's crazy that everyone's like, oh, there's so many apologists now for him. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? I mean, I could have a little bit of sympathy to a point. And then, but I'm like, ultimately, am I going to say he's an actual good guy? Hell no. Is he a victim? To a point, yes. But an yeah, ultimate the way I, good guy underneath, no. The way I like to say is that Catchy's like, when he's diving into his confrontation, he's like, oh, yeah, if we would have met like a few years earlier, we could have probably been friends. It's like, that's, I think, yeah. that's a good way to summarize his character. If we would have yeah. met and have them, like his core personality is interesting. I would say if we move I, all the, like the murdering aspects he actually yeah. would have been a yeah. great member to the crew agree agreed now that i agree with i can agree with you there but you can't I, remove like he's probably killed that. like hundreds of people um, <laughs> um possibly. i mean it's, it's hundreds of people but also not including the fact that she he killed futaba's mom and haru's dad yeah there's that pro- there's that problem that all the uh, that all the apologists you know that, that that they that they go that there is that but then they're they <laughs> but then there's like despite of that like no he's still beautiful I'm like it's like oh okay god. it's all like, oh my no, god no he, despite of that he's still beautiful I'm like oh my god ah. like, you oh guys you guys are the type of people who would be like sipping over an actual murderer just because oh of it oh one time oh my gosh I confess I actually I I went down the the Ake Shuake black hole once. And <laughs> I, a, I need help. <laughs> I need help so bad. <laughs> because I'm like, this is just, this isn't about, this is not apologizing. This is just enjoying the content. <laughs> I can only enjoy it if it were like an AU and if it was an alternative thing. That's the only time it's acceptable. Mm. That's the but, only time uh, it's acceptable. <laughs> if anyone tries to do it in canon and royal, if anyone tries to do it in canon and afterwards, they, <laughs> ah, they work pretty hard trying to make it try to make it work. I gotta hand it to them. They work pretty hard. They stick to their guns and they try to work hard to make it work. But I think it's I think it's only because of how a catchy looks. Like if it were something, okay, if it were like say, <laughs> if it were like. Yeah, if it were like Kubo or worse, no, no, no. Actually, it's already actually Adachi is already being done. Uh, yeah, hey, yeah. This, whew, if anybody worse than Akechi, it's Adachi. Yikes. I uh, mean, Adachi is a fully realized adult who. Oh, like, totally. Yeah, that. I was like, Nothing. okay, imagine if you're trying to do this to Adachi or worse, you want to get extra even freaking worse. You try and put Shido in Akechi's role. Good luck with that. Oh yeah, she I does not. You, that would not happen in a million years. That would not yeah. happen in a million years. If you put Shido in a catchy's role, that wouldn't be happening. That would not be happening. <laughs> oh, I know somebody out there probably would, but like, nope, not believable. <laughs> I mean, Shido's not even the fun type of senator. No. <laughs> Honestly, not, the crazy okay. thing is about Shido. Speaking about Shido, Shido is actually the kind of villain that I was. He was among the villains that they thought of palace rulers. He was the one that I was the most con- curious about. And there's really nothing backing him up because they don't, there is really nothing backing him up except just power greed. And I kept, and I was the most curious about him. I was like, well, what got him to that point? I was like, what? I was curious. I was like, why is he like this? What, what got him to that point? I'm cur- I'm curious. So everybody else was like, ah, screw you guys. Screw you guys. Let the Phantom Thieves beat beat you and then go home. <laughs> All right. But uh, yeah, to summarize some of my experience, <laughs> like because it, I wanted to finish it last night, or at least finish the pre-royal third semester stuff. Yeah, like I played the game mostly on easy and I was doing fine. But like all I have to say is the fourth angel before the final boss, screw that guy and his freaking summons. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, here's a question. Who do you, how do you, um, uh, what do you think of, um, well, you didn't get to the final palace, did you? 
uh, the final, not the third semester stuff yet. Oh, never mind then. Never. Uh, yeah, we can't. Actually, I think I'm, I think sorry, I'm sorry, technically sorry. in the palace right now, but that's like where I have it saved in the game. Okay, um, never mind. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of something else. Never mind. Yeah. So, um. Uh, it's but, uh, just like the thing about like for like r royal with like a catchy here like he's just like they fully explained the appeal of like why the japanese fan base in the original persona 5 was very gung-ho about a catchy because right. he represents a very underdeveloped uh, discussion topic that a lot of japanese media does not like to talk about ah. about children with disgraced family Mm, having to go. live, grow up under those horrible circumstances. There you because go. Honor is a very big thing over there. And if right. you're growing up with like a, oh, no father for any particular reason, even if it's like a, something like the father themselves not wanting to be any part of like a right. weak woman or anything like that. Or the mother, or the mother like, um, or the mother is a single mother or worse. We, and, we, and again, we have no, we don't know what happened. That's another thing I was curious. Like what happened to the mother like who is Akechi's mother like what happened to her sometimes I wonder like was it a was it a rape or something mm. was it a product of that or or something like that it's so many freaking questions oh uh, it's just yeah in terms of like talking about like palace rulers like Shido yeah he really did not get very developed no he and I and he like was the neck. villain and he was the villain that I really, that I surprisingly was really curious about. He was the one that I wanted more debt, and I kind of still want more debt too, you know. Also, I guess while we're on the topic of spoiler and like Shido, is like that final like palace air quotes after Shido. Yeah. Yeah, I have to say I like the idea of it, but I just felt like it was too much too fast, like. Mm. The best way I would describe is like I feel there was sort of like an original pre I like I said I, the original game I excluding the royal content which I'm going to be finishing up. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like you could divide the game into sort of three sections for the Phantom Thieves. Where like yeah. the first first third is like just the Phantom Thieves being Phantom Thieves, just sort of getting their canuppins and all that. Yeah. The second half is like the Phantom Thieves dealing with the villain, the main villains. Right. Um. Like, sort of getting, like, the anti-Fandom Thieves, like, the real, like, that's where that's... It's hinted out in the first third, but, like, it's the second third where, like, you're confronting them. Then the final third is, like, the um, Holy Grail, Evil God stuff. Right. But that oh my gosh, Holy Grail. Yeah. Yeah, that stuff is, like, literally the same length of, like, a regular palace, where I feel it should be, like, like two, three times that length. It's sort of, like... To sort of transition into that instead of going from like, oh yeah, we're doing mental stuff to like we're taking on a god in the sky. Um, but still, that but still the uh, one word, Satanial. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't know Satanial is. Uh. Yeah, no, who Satanial is? No, or Gator? Least... Do you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't see Satanial. I might remember, but it's like I'm good, horrible with names. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so if you if you okay if you've uh, fought the Holy Grail, and you fought its evolved form, yeah, you see Satanial. Oh, like the giant uh, devil. It's uh, pretty much it's Jonah. pretty much our sense evolved form. <laughs> yeah, it's when our sense it's when our sense evolves pretty much. Yeah, that is actually I will say it's cool. I wish that you would have done so more with it than essentially press button to win, but it was cool. Yes, I'll admit I I'll admit I I my when I saw him for the saw Satan over the first time my jaw dropped it out oh, my jaw dropped I thought. I was like, oh, I, I was like, oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> and you're right. I wish, I wish you could have gotten more. <laughs> yeah, that's where I feel like, I feel they should have probably introduced his <laughs> persona, like right when he moved to the other section of the Holy Grail fight. Um, right. Like maybe like 
maybe him not have as much basically one shot kill thing, but basically him sort of serving like a Futaba role was like adding support up to like the final shot. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Or maybe because, Sentinel could have been. Uh, I don't know if you if you were doing like Royal and and them in the same thing. Maybe Seth and I could have been pushed a little bit further back, but further towards the end, but the end of Royal, but who knows? Oh, well. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's my thing is like, I feel like I feel, it feels weird to say, like, I feel the game should have been longer when it's like, as of now, no. I'm 98 hours no. in. Um, <laughs> no. But that's it really feels true. like, at least pacing wise, like there should have been more time for the final thing. Right. Because um, I, I give another example along RPG, like, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, there's like the final section where it's like this is the end game sort of thing. Like it's from like I think 70 or 80 hours. Uh, I think it's about 70 hours into the game we transition to that. That feels more like a final arc um, where it's like this big build up sort of thing. I feel that's it's like a good final third, but like that's like the end game. But like it feels like it's well paced. Where this feels like it's like the end game, but like it's literally just 15 or 10 to 15 hours. Ah. And just, I feel like it should have taken up more space to transition there. Yeah, understandable. Again, which is very weird to say for like a 98 hour RPG for me so far, and I still have to do the other third semester stuff. That's true, yeah. Um, And that's with me playing normally on easy, and at that final like battle, I was like, screw it, I'm going to Screw it, I'm going to safe mode because I hate these angels and I'm finishing this game tonight. <laughs> there you go. Be understandable. Uh, because, yeah, those angels that I can... I, I can understand, like, it'll be frustrating if they healed, like, this summons healed them a little. No, they straight up heal them all the way. That oh, thing. no. Oh, my God. I, like, uh... you know, like, I went into that battle with having no curse ability at the moment. Oh, wow. Um, so, it's like, I had to go be kicked back all the way to the starting point create some persona with curse abilities and then like plow my way all the way up to the front. I was like, like, screw it. I'm going to save and I'm going to freaking nail drive these into the ground. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I hate, like, that's the one thing I hate is like, I hate when they get more and more enemies that just don't have weaknesses. So it's like, it so it makes the weakness system irrelevant, which I feel it takes away from some of the mm-hmm. combat. Agreed. I gotcha. Agreed. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's interesting for occasional fight, but, like, when it comes to base, like, it, it gets to the point where, like, every single boss is invulnerable. Like, is it's basically less of, like, what they're weak against, more like, okay, you just can't hit them when they're strong. Like, it, it takes away from, like, the combat, I feel, flow. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Uh, but uh, I guess any other plot points or that we want to go over? Because I know we did the... Shipping, we did like the catchy twist and like the sort of god thing. Oh yeah, one, uh, oh yeah, one last, oh yeah, one last thing for the for the love mm-hmm. of everything. A catchy yeah. is not the a catchy is not the tw- is not the twist villain villain. The god of control is. Uh yes, yes, the god of control is definitely is the twist That's villain that we twist. should respect. That is the true twist villain. That mm-hmm. is that is the true twist. I would honestly say they're about the same twist because. Oh no, nope. Uh, uh, te- oh no, Akechi is an anticlimactic twist. Yeah. Igor's Igor's twist was the one that made me go what? And Moss, that one and did, I didn't. I feel it then just like, because. I feel it then. It wasn't such a big twist to me just because like he never was like he never gave you exact answers to stuff. No, it was always vague and yeah, it was like it felt like oh yeah, this is sort of reminding me of I forget those one cat fox things from like Madoka Magica. It's like, yeah, you can sort of tell they're the oh, real sort of villains. One, oh, you mean the one that would, that one that would, 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 that one evil thing that would be like contract? Karibo, that's it. Karibo, oh my gosh. And I have the, and I have his picture on a notebook staring at me right now. And I, and I purposely penned in the words contract. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, that's oh. what I sort of mean. Like the way he's like, not really, like he's like, helpful and playful but like he's not really too like that's where i felt like okay i could see him betraying you at some point oh you uh, oh so you figured you thought he was he, he was a uh, you figured it out that, that he was a twist right yeah i i feel yeah i suspected it like I, he I, I, 
Yeah, and like I, I that's why I say a catchy if he didn't play the uh if he didn't level up his character, which is easy to miss if you don't know to do it. Yeah. Um um, I could see like you not like being at the same level of trust because like he's not overtly evil until like you get to like his final stages of stuff. I, um, I also would say the pan. I, I like the idea behind the pancake twist, but oh, there we go. I really wish they would have picked a different moment to sort of hint at that. I do like so, I do like the pancake. I do like the one about the pancakes one and how. Okay, and honestly, the twist is really like how they kind of snuck past the catchy i thought that i thought that was the good twist i thought that was a really good twist behind that i thought oh that's a good i thought that was a good one and then igor that was a good one i was like yeah nice and and then igor is the one that made me like okay igor because it went over my head i guess i'm not as smart as i think (laughs) but igor went over my head that was a shocker for me but uh Oh yeah, shit, my, like I my said, timer my timer went off so yeah, I, I was about know. to say it's like a one minute thing so I guess uh, that's a uh, semi spoiler discussion of uh, Persona Five Royal Jeez. with uh, for me, me still just having one last bit to do to end the game but uh, I felt this was a fun chat so I guess I'll uh, see y'all next time and maybe talking about Sonic or something there's a whole bunch of media airing right now we'll see <laughs> all right but I guess I'll uh, see y'all next time.